Welcome to the Bermondsey Beer Mile. We are here this week as we explore what is underneath the arches. So let's start the show! Welcome back to the Bermondsey Beer Mile. Now, one thing that we have noticed while we've been here is that it's not only drink you can get, but food. There are stalls and coffee shops as well, like the one behind me selling pastries. So like an ideal place for a nice summer breakfast. Should I get some? <laughs> what, in the, in the midst of having all this beer, you want a coffee as well? Is that no, to keep like, you going? to buy like some coffee beans. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, well, let's take a look. So I've just crossed the road over there and there are lots more arches down here selling more food. There's a cheesemonger's okay. and it looks like a honey merchant in there. Oh wow. Yeah, the London Honey Company. So it's not all just beer. It isn't just beer. And what Although is this? They do have a lot of beer. Ong Ong buns. Oh look, a Chinese bakery, Paul. Right? I guess. Or is it Korean? No, it's, it's a mixture, look. It's got Chinese pork, chicken curry, Korean garlic bread, spicy vegan, custard and coconut, and pandan and coconut cake. Okay, maybe we need to get some. These are some of the classics that you love, right? Uh-huh. Do you want to heat it up? No, because we're not eating it. No, no, no. Right, you have made your decision. You're going to get one of these kimchi beef burgers. Yeah, because that seems interesting. Right, and we're going to get two of the Chinese pork buns, and it's three for seven pounds, so that's quite good. This would be good for later, right? I think so. And look, next door, we have a a grocer's, I suppose, for want of a better word. It is a London fermentary. All fresh veg here, look at this. Well, we are on the Bourbonsey Beer Mile, so we should be having a beer. And this is the mash Paddle Brewery, isn't that right, Paul? Yeah, it is. And this was one that was on your list. This is close to the other one. Well, we've had to come a little bit down from the what was it called the mash paddle brewery because mash there paddle. mash paddle because there is copyright music playing and we do not want a strike from youtube oh no no thank you so anyway you had the actual home brew didn't you what's the name of it mash paddle or paddle mash or something was it mash brew that was the one that you had Mash out. Mash out, yeah. So that was like their homebrew that they make. So it was kind of like one of their IPAs. And how was it? Again, I didn't try yours. Like in the first episode, I didn't try no, your drink at all. You didn't try mine. I didn't want to try it because I, I wanted to just savor your own. for myself. Thank you. And what was it like? 
It was quite good, actually. How was yours? Well, I had the check, and what like is a that? Pilsner. Uh, it's I like guess a so. That's what Czech beers usually are. I yeah. think. Yeah. Like, what is it called? Is it Urquhart? Is that the name? Or Earthquart or something? Yeah. It really did. Terrible. Uh, yeah. Those those sort of ones. It really did sort of taste like a proper Czech beer. Well, we are going to have a look at another brewery in this episode, yeah. so it's time to get our drink on, right? It's no illusion. You're watching It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube, so please subscribe. So much choice here, Paul. There We've got a... Enid Street Tavern and Craft Beer Junction. And then there's also one right next to it. I think that that one's open later. Bianco Beer Company. Yeah. So take your pick. I think Enid and then Craft Beer. Well, you want to do both of these? We're doing all of them. Oh. Oh, no. right. Okay. So we're going to try the Craft Beer Junction next. Yes. There's something about this that's very inviting and this brewery is on Enid Street. What I like about the name is because it's, well, we're obviously underneath the arches and we've been trying to get a train passing and we've missed it every single time mm -hmm. because there's four tracks up there and I wanted to get one on the oh, closest track, that. yes. Um, but Junction, of course, is the name used in association with railway lines and even their logo, their poster behind you, has got the railway arches. All right. I quite liked the craft beer junction, but we didn't really rate what we got that well, did we, Paul? No, I think we got the two flints, which is the one that you had originally, and then I was trying the phantom. They're both which, IPAs. But I think that you preferred the, the phantom. phantom, which was a bit more, um, a bit more flat. Maybe that's why I liked it. I don't really like fizz, you see, so that's it probably why I liked flat, it. And it. I didn't really like it. But what the guy was explaining was that half of their beers come from um, America. Yeah, but was it Florida specifically? No, Tam Florida, Tampa. Tampa. Tampa specifically. Yeah, Tampa. Yes, very specific. Very specific. And the other half are English and they don't brew any of their own, but they have mm. an arrangement with some. Um, breweries in Tampa. We will be concluding the Bermondsey Beer Mile Aww. in our episode on Friday. For those of you that have liked our episode, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you can do so as well. And for those of you that are feeling extra generous, you could buy us a coffee. Yes, there is a link in the description and at last, there's the train I've been waiting to capture all this time. So let's be on track for Friday and we'll see you then. See you Bye. Later. Bye.